Thank you for coming in here. You are one of the finalists to win a VIP trip to South Africa, courtesy of Bank of Ireland. Congratulations on making it this far. Thank you. So firstly, can you just tell us a little bit about your own entry? So here's me in between the two mighty Justins back in the day. I was a ball, ball I was a ball boy here for a year. And what game is that? That was Toulouse, Heineken Cup game in 2006. I um, played that game. Trying to find info about it, I found Trimble scored the tries. I think that could be in the same line out that I made that great line break through <laughs> and through the pass to Trimble to score. He just he's just in the right the place, the right time. Um, so next question, Matthew. There's no pressure here, but who is your favourite Ulster player? Current. Well, go current. I mean, me and Tommy are here, still playing, so there's no pressure in this question. Uh, it's hard to not be kind of wowed by by our All Black contingent at the minute. I think Charles Pate at the minute. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry, Tommy. Sorry. It's, it's, it might go against you. The Ulster rugby song. What about a bit of stand up to the Ulster man? Any chance? Could you give us a bar? Maybe like get uh, properly. I mean, there's yeah, okay, and then stand up for the Ulster. I think it needs to be deeper. Do you know, the, the 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 higher you go, the more you you just lose pitch. Do you know? Okay. <laughs> Matthew, next question. Um, did you play? Do you play rugby yourself? I did play. Yeah. Okay, so you know what this is. Yeah. Can you show us maybe like a trick, or can you do anything special with the rugby ball? Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on, get Chris off. Come on, Chris. You asked Matthew the question. Come on. Yeah, Matthew's not trying. Come on. So it's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I've got a competition for you. Chris, will you keep check of the names here? 30 seconds. I want you to name as many Ulster players in the squad as you can. Three, okay. two, one, go. Andy Warwick, Ross Kane, Rodney Ayew, um, Callum Black, Rob Herring, Rory Best, um, and John Andrew, Pete Brown, Treadwell, um, and O'Connor, and then Henry, uh, I'm having a mind blank post night Five shift. Cooney, Leo Fano, Stockdale, Bo. Done. So 15. It's not bad. It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. We're going to play a quick game. We want you to say the first word that comes to mind. Um, dinner with the Ulster squad or dinner with your wife? Has to be Ulster squad. Sorry, Lisa. Bo or Henry? Bo came first. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was always a back. back. Um, <laughs> would you rather fight Andrew Trimble or Sparky? I think Sparky could take a hit, but I think he would he would lose the well pretty quickly. Trimble is Trimble's never won a fight in Trimble. his life. So are you sure you want to do you want to stick with Sparky or <laughs> I'll stick with Sparky. <laughs> Listen, we've had so many entries. We just want to know is there anything else that you think now will set you over the edge compared to the other entries that we've got coming in this afternoon? I suppose just like lo looking back and seeing uh, in the different periods in my life where Ulster's been really important. You know, even when I was a kid, it was something to go with with my granda. And then it was the thing to do on a Friday night with my friends from school and everything. And then now, like, I, I still go with my dad and his two mates who've been, you know, friends since they were um, yay big. It's been really important thing for me just to, um, for, for years to, to get away from whatever else was going on. You know, there's always Ulster rugby there to, um, to kind of fall back and, you almost get your hair, head short sometimes and be something to kind of get behind. Well, Matthew, look, we will have you shortlisted down the final three, but the truth is you're only the only one. So congratulations, you're going to South Africa. <laughs> How much? Congratulations. There you go. Keep on. There you go. Well done. I don't know if this is a practical joke right now. No, congratulations. We're delighted for you, mate. Well done. No way. Good man, we'll see you over there. I can't believe that. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well done.
<laughs> what is going on? I didn't have a clue. Honestly, didn't have a clue. I thought, prep my answers on the way over and trying to think about what, what could make me stand out and everything. So I had, had absolutely no idea that, um, that I was, I was going to win. Even when they said I'd won, I was like, is this just something they filmed for everyone <laughs> who's being interviewed today? Oh dear. We can see that you're a diehard Ulster supporter, so we're delighted to have you over there and look forward to seeing you in South Africa. Let me. Cheers. Cheers. Good man, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. It makes going to, to games like even more exciting now because, I don't know, you feel a bit more um, part of everything when you have such a big trip. Like I've been on away trips and things before and you feel, you know, a, a more cemented hardcore supporter when you're taking trips down south and across the water and things, but South Africa is next level in terms of being a hardcore supporter. <laughs> I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to sleep now, am I? I'm not going to sleep now.